we have two independent laser beams set up such that we get parallel beams. And these beams are about seven and a half millimeters apart. Then the two beams travel down a long hallway, bounce off a mirror, and then come all the way back for a total distance of about 84 meters. By the time the beams have traveled that far, they've both grown into large blobs that overlap, and we really can't tell that we originally had two laser sources. So next we bring these beams through a lens so that we can image them on a CCD camera. We use these filters to attenuate the light so that the intensity is low enough that we get good exposure. We can control the diameter of the lens with, using this aperture we've placed in front. If the diameter of the aperture is wide enough, then we see the image of both laser sources on the CCD camera. As the aperture closes, the resolution degrades and we see only one spot. The Rayleigh criterion occurs when the aperture is open just wide enough that we can distinguish the two spots. For our setup, this aperture diameter is about 8 millimeters.